having a nice week. I'm here to show you my makes for May and they have been many, many makes in May, um, including a surprise that you didn't know that I was making. This is an Eve dress sample that um, we made for another shoot um, just to give it a, the Eve dress a little kind of refresh. We do this every so often where we just shoot another one um, just to show it in a different fabric. And this fabric was saved for that shoot and we do have some of it. I bought it from India. It wasn't matter, so I bought as much as I could. But there is some of it and we'll be adding it online today so that you guys can have some of it if you want it. Um, but I just, when I saw it, I just thought this was perfect for Eve. So I'll show you it. Um, here she is um, with her little fluted sleeve. Um, and she's, I've got a very much a long version of her on. Um, I don't even know if I can stand far enough back, I've angled the camera wrong today. Um, but basically she, she goes on and on. Maybe I should stand on my stool. So you can see the hem. <laughs> there it is. Ah. Ah. Yeah, she is perfect for summer. I'm very excited about wearing her. I'm scared though that I don't want to stain this beautiful fabric because I just feel like this is the sort of thing you don't want to go to dirty places in, don't want to sit on that tube in this, um, but yeah, it's lovely. Um, now you've also, I've got a laid here, I'm not going to put this on because you have seen my silk camis, I wore them um, in previous posts because I went ahead and made them earlier, so if you didn't check out those posts and want to see how the silk camis look on me, um, I wore this one in the review to the Great British Sewing Bee book, and I wore the other one when I was going, what's in my handbag? So you can see the, the, the uh, versions of those, but already worn them loads. Um, so yeah, looking forward to having those to wear for the rest of the summer. And what else have I got? I've got my two skirts that I planned on making. And I've also got um, a dress that I had leftover fabric from, which I didn't plan on making. And is that it? Is there more? <laughs> No, I think that's it. So I'm going to go and try on the next one for you. Just a sec. Next time. Ta-da! I'm going to have to, I am going to have to climb up onto my stool. I'm going to do that to show you this skirt. Here it is. Do, 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 do. And look, okay, look what's on my feet. La, la, la. My new shoes. Do you remember them from the other month when I was like, I haven't got anything to wear with them? They are perfect for this uh, fabric. So yes, this is the beautiful fabric that I'm, do you know what guys, I'm just gonna move this slightly over. So this fabric is from the Till the Sun Goes Down and um, she kindly sent me some after I did my last review and I decided that I was gonna make a full circle skirt out of it and then I thought actually, I don't know if I want a full circle skirt, I'm gonna try a half circle skirt, which is what this is. So, here you can see, I stand up here, can you get a better view? And I'm wearing it with a fever cardi and a half circle skirt, just so you know. Basically, it's got no side seams. So because it's half circle, you just need the fabric folded. Um, so you fold the fabric with the selvages parallel, if you can, or you can fold it with the fold perpendicular to the selvage, depending on your print and depending on um, what width fabric you've got and um, you basically just have one seam at the back centre back seam here which is the easiest and quickest skirt to make and I'm not I can't believe I didn't I haven't made a half circle skirt until now I actually had to look it up um, and um, yeah but it's so simple and it's so much quicker as well I made this skirt up in an hour so easy really really and I didn't make a pattern I just drew straight onto the fabric which is a little bit risky but it worked fine so um yeah pretty excited about that um and yeah and the best thing about that is that there was fabric left over so what did i make hang on a second and i'll show you ta-da i made a shift dress because you know i need more shift dresses um which i definitely don't but i actually after i filmed that shift dress um video i realized i had too many um, and I gave a load to my mum and she loves wearing them. So um, I made a bit of room in my shift wardrobe to make a couple more. So this is perfect fabric for the shift dress. And I was actually thinking of making the other, the ivory jazz fabric that I had, of making a shift dress out of that. But 
I knew that it was perfect for the Doris dress and I don't regret that. But when I had leftover fabric from the skirt, I thought, hang on a sec, can I maybe make a shift dress out of that? And because it's 140 centimetres wide, I could. So I was really pleased. And I think this shift dress I will definitely wear in the winter as well because it's got the black in there. I think I can wear it with tights. So I'm really excited about having it in my wardrobe because and I made it a little bit shorter than I normally do because I thought if I wear it with tights, um, I'll probably want it a bit shorter, a little bit shorter. But certainly when I put the belt on, it's a bit short. If I step back, you can see it's relatively short. Um, and I tend not to like showing above my knee um, bare-legged just because I don't really like that part of my legs. So um, yeah, so this will be something for a cooler summer day or in the um, or in this sort of autumn winter wear and um, time and I think I'll wear it with my cute little fever cardi and it will be good so I'm very pleased with that I'm very pleased that I got an extra make out of the fabric that I didn't think I would so there is one more thing to show you just a sec ta-da my watermelon skirt I'm going to step back so you can see <laughs> The perfect skirt for going for a picnic in. Um, yeah, or not. Um, so this fabric, yeah, I was very excited about making a watermelon skirt because I have a thing about watermelons at the moment. Um, I've just bought a watermelon notebook. Um, I've seen a packed lunchbox with watermelons on I want to get. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with my watermelon skirt. And there was also a bit left over, so I might make a watermelon top, um, but yeah. I really like it and I'm wearing it with a white top now but I think I can also wear it with a red top um, and this was a box pleat skirt and I made the pattern up myself it wasn't um, a pattern I followed um, but I basically wanted to make quite deep pleats so it's got quite a wide waistband then it's got quite deep pleats in here and um, so I've got one two three and on the back um, there's a concealed zip at the back um what else i did make the pattern slightly a-lined as i was drawing it i don't again i think for this one i didn't make a pattern i just drew straight onto the fabric um i just did it that way and then just measured my pleats pinned them in um, and did it that way so i made it so that i got a little bit of a, a gap at the side seam so that the pleats didn't need to perfectly line up which is a really good thing to do if you're making a block box pleats um, skirt from scratch because if you want to tweak it or take it in, it's nice to have that extra fabric at the side seams without affecting the box pleats. So you don't have to reposition all your box pleats, you can just take a bit out of the side. Um, so yeah, it's lovely and I'm going to wear it a lot to work, I think. Um, perfect for um, work. Perfect length, perfect fabric, yay. So very pleased with my makes, as you can see. I'm very excited about what I'm going to be doing next month. So I'm planning on doing more dresses next month. I've been doing a lot of separates and so I'm into getting into summer dress mode now. So um, I'll be looking, I've got my fabrics already put aside. I've been saving some of them for a while. So I'm looking forward to sharing them with you next week. Is it next week? Yes, it will be next week. Whilst you're watching this, I will be on holiday. I pre-recorded it before I went away because I knew that I wanted to have a video come out whilst I was away. So I'm in Barcelona, although I think I'll be traveling back today. This is coming out on Friday. So I've been away for a week and hopefully I've gained three freckles. Maybe a little bit of color. Anyway, I hope you all have a lovely weekend and I'll see you next week.